Memorial Day is about honoring our nation's fallen, and that's exactly what hundreds of people from across Anchorage did today. Father, we raise our collective voice to thee in extreme appreciation for the price paid on the battlefield by so many, mostly young men and women with burning hope of education, happy reunions with loved ones, future careers, and dreams of growing old with spouses as they raise their children. No matter the miles trekked, nor the method of travel, it's the memories that are important. Because we are gathered to remember and to reconsecrate ourselves. And that hundreds of people are here on Memorial Day. The sacrifices we honor today are going to continue. Honoring the mothers, fathers, sons and daughters who gave their lives for America's freedom. And just as they whom we commemorate were willing to sacrifice so much, so too must we in a less final, less heroic way, be willing to give of ourselves. Whether in downtown Anchorage or somewhere else, laying flowers, wreaths, or just quietly pausing to remember the legacy of those who have been lost this is their first visit to the cemetery. Sends a message loud and clear. It's much more legacy. It's much more of getting to, you know, why this country is as great as it is. And these members are the ones that kind of put us in that position. God bless. Or thousands of them for a man on a mission and armed with 10,000 pennies. I'm here to honor our fallen heroes. Uh, I'm putting pennies on the headstones to signify uh, I visited each and every uh, service member and to make sure they're not forgotten. Legend has it this tradition started in America during the Vietnam War. A penny would be re represent, hey, I'm, I'm visiting you. A nickel shows they trained together. A dime suggests they served side by side. And a quarter means the visitor was there when the deceased passed away. To be forgotten is worse than death. and. I know when I pass, I don't want to be forgotten. But however and wherever we pay our respects, it only matters that we do, even if it's one priceless penny at a time. Beth Verge, Channel 2 News.